Hey, y'all. Oh, I'm gonna vent for a second. I don't know if this is a good move my chair to get comfortable. The city I live... Okay, first off, um, I have seizures. Uh, I have a really... I don't have problems with seizures, like, all the time, like most epileptics do, but I have a form of epilepsy that, um, high-pitched noises, like sirens, r really set off seizures for me. And once a month, our city sets off their, their, uh, tornado sirens to test them. And they never tell us what day, I've called to see what day it is so that I can make sure that I'm in a safe place. Like, not outside driving or, you know, anything like that. To, you know, because I'll have a seizure the second they do it. I want to know when it's going to be. And all I've been told is it's the last Tuesday of every month. Wrong. It just went off a few minutes ago. And I believe this is Wednesday. And I believe this is not even the last Wednesday of the month. So, they lied. And... Um, I had a seizure. I was just like sitting in my computer chair, thankfully, and just flopped on the floor, but scared the crap out of my roommate, uh, Craig, because he normally does not see me have seizures, and he just kind of waited with me until once the sirens were over, I was fine, but, um, you know, the seizure stopped, and I just, I hate it. It's, it sucks, um, that it happens, but, you know, that's just life. I mean, it, uh, yeah, it happens. But I'm alright, and everything's cool, but, um, you know, the city pisses me off. They should, they should really, um, keep their word and do it on the last two. I'm not, I'm sure I'm not the only one out there that sirens set off seizures for. And, um, I could be driving a car, you know, I mean. Anyway, um, uh, another topic. Last night I was, um, watching an episode of Little House on the Prairie, and, um, I, my bedroom has a master bath attached to it, and um, I have a roommate named Angie, and I was watching an episode of Little House on the Prairie on my computer, and all of a sudden, the hair dryer went on in the bathroom, and I thought she had come in, and I didn't hear her, and maybe she had washed her hair and was going to dry it, so I was kind of pissed, because I was like, Ugh rude because she didn't shut the door or anything and you know I was watching the show and I didn't want to I had to turn it up and all that and I was like what whatever so I was really into what I was watching and I wasn't paying attention and then all of a sudden she comes into my room and she's like what why are, what's why is the hair dryer on and I was like I thought you were drying your hair and she's like it's been going on for five six seven minutes and I thought you were drying your hair and I've been out in the living room talking to Karen on the phone and I was like are you serious and she's like yeah and she's like you didn't get up and turn it on and I said no I've been sitting here the whole time I thought it was you and so she went in and she turned it off but it was really bizarre because you have to flip a switch to turn it on you know it doesn't just it's not like a push button I mean it, it, it had to be turned on somehow and I didn't do it and she didn't do it nobody did it and that was just really, really weird. And um, kind of creepy, actually. But, um, yeah, she turned it off and um, nothing else happened the rest of the night. But it's like, do -do 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 -do. is my room haunted or something? Who knows? But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it right now. Um, I'm leaving for Florida a week from Thursday. I'm going to go visit some friends and I'll be back on November the 2nd. And then November the 8th is my birthday. I'm going to be 35 yeah, old. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so my room is haunted. Spiffy. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.